you hold my hand, look me in the eyes. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Pick up a mobile order for Sandra. For Sandra. All right, it looks like I got that right here. You can go ahead and pull around. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think I got maybe 30 minutes of sleep last night. And I cried so much yesterday. And now I feel like shit. Can I have one for Sandra? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. I've been, I've been too stressed to eat, and that's not helping with the nausea situation. So the combination of being stressed and tired and not eating is making me very nauseous. Um, I'm hoping this coffee will kind of. I honestly don't even know how to begin to talk about what is going on right Mom. now Mom. because I'm anticipating Mom. the reactions Mom. that I know are going to come Mom. Mom. and follow Mom. and I'm not in the mental space to deal with that on top of everything else but at the same time there's not going to be any hiding it we're at Walmart right now to get some stuff this morning. I don't even know if I want to say long story short because I don't know how long of a story it really is. But I mentioned how Christopher came home. He was supposed to be home for a week, get his truck, and go back to work. And then there ended up being more problems with the truck. So he ended up, um, instead of being home for one week, he ended up being home for three and a half weeks. Um, and then he finally just went back to work a week ago. A week ago. Is it a week? It's either a week ago yesterday or a week ago today he went back to work. I think it's today. It makes a week of him being back at work. And, um, yeah, so he missed three and a half weeks of work and we couldn't pay our rent because of that. And, um, well, now we're being evicted. The, they, taped the paperwork to our door yesterday and said we have 10 days to vacate or respond. There's no point in responding because we didn't pay our rent. So it's not like we have an argument in our favor. Like we, there's no point in a trial. So now at this point we have nine days. So I have nine days by myself to pack up an entire house, move out of a house, and figure out what the hell we're gonna do. So I don't really know what's gonna happen. I just know that I'm very stressed, obviously. I'm only going to go in. Go in. Just got back from Walmart. My anxiety is so bad right now. I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack. Like, I feel like I can't breathe. My chest is tight and hot. It feels like I have fire or icy hot in my veins. I don't know how I'm gonna manage this. But, anyways, while I was in there, I swore this one dude was following me. Because Everywhere that I went, he went. Every, like everywhere until I finally lost him at the end when I went towards the grocery section. But, um, yeah, everywhere that I was, 
he was. And he had the same one product the whole time. Like he had like a bottle of some sort of fluid, probably from the auto section. But yet, he followed me all around the electronics section. He followed me towards the baby section. Um, and he just, he was like right there the whole time. But just had that one item and then kept like making it seem like he was looking at different things. And I just, I felt like he was being sus. Huh. Uh, but thankfully, I lost him when I went over, yeah. not right the second, went over to um ah. the groceries. Anyways, let's do this haul. I got this bag because I am always so unprepared, so I wanted to have some sort of go bag because I hate a diaper bag. I have a diaper bag. I haven't used it in probably over a year and a half. Would you stop? I probably haven't used it over a year and a half. I hate it. I don't want to use it. It's too big. It's too bulky. It's like just too much. So it's like I need something bigger than a purse because the purse, it's like a crossbody that I have. I can fit like my wallet and my keys and like one diaper and a little pack of wipes. And I feel like I need more than that because I'm always so unprepared when we go places, but I don't want to carry a diaper bag around. So I was trying to find something in between, like something bigger than a purse, but smaller than a diaper bag. And this was the best thing that I could find because I need, I just needed something for like snacks, change of clothes, wipes, diapers, activities. If we're going to be out, like while we're at practice or sitting in the car, I can just for the kids to do, you know? Instead of it just being thrown in the car and then getting left in the car or me not bringing anything and then me like not having what I need when I'm out in public. Hopefully this will work for what I need it to work for. I guess big thing first. I got three of these totes to start out. That probably is nowhere near enough, but I didn't really want to get too much today. And I don't, I don't even know where to start yeah. with packing. Yeah. But it's like, we're going to have to downsize so much that I'm going to have to really utilize. What? I'm going to have to really utilize storage the best that I can. So it's like, got some pull-ups, some trash bags to throw stuff into, some Ziploc bags. They finally had the original Southern Comfort today, and they, they had the big boy too, so... Of course, I'd get that. Some sour cream and some milk. Here, guys. And then I just have a bag, a whole bag of random stuff here. I needed some cotton rounds. I got a new round brush. I already tried buying a round brush, but it's like, it's too small and it doesn't have these kind of bristles. So it doesn't grip my hair. My hair just falls right out of it as soon as I try to like blow dry it. This looks a lot bigger in the store though. So now I'm worried that this might also be too small, but the other one looked massive. I don't know, let's see. I'm trying to learn how to like blow out my hair. <laughs> so it's not just so like flat. <laughs> I needed more shampoo and conditioner and I really did not know what to go with because it's hard to know what's good and what's bad at the drugstore and there's just so many options. So I went with the Heritage. I used to use them. I got the damage recovery set shampoo and conditioner to use and then I got some tape, masking tape for labeling the boxes. And I needed some permanent markers for that as well. I needed more pencils because like all of mine get lost and Jace keeps biting the erasers out of all of my pencils. And I'm about to have to start taking notes again. I've been in college for four years and I haven't taken notes for probably three of those years, if not more. I barely took notes for the classes, but I'm starting to realize that the ones that I have right now, I don't think I'm gonna survive without taking notes. So I'm gonna need pencils. And to go along with that, I also need a notebook 
And Walmart actually had like a ton of stationery on clearance, so I hit that up. So this was two fifty instead of four dollars. And then I got this on clearance for two fifty. It's re re stickable stickers. I thought this would be like a good on the go activity for Ashlyn to do um, in the car and at practice and games and such. And then also I got this Imagine Ink book that was on clearance for $3.50. Even though this thing's less like 0.2 seconds. Um, and then I got this. It's for you. I got this notebook for a dollar on clearance for them to just draw and write in when we're out and about to occupy themselves. And I needed a new planner for school because mine is, I'm going to run out. I don't have any more months come next month. So I needed one for the upcoming year. And they were very, very, very limited on options. I didn't really look at the ones on clearance because I assumed that they were for this past year, not the upcoming year, you know? So, but the ones for this upcoming year, they really did not have many options at all. They literally had like four options basically. And like two of those were too small. This one I feel like is kind of too big. But the other one, I just really didn't like the layout of it. So I settled for this one. It's kind of big, but it'll work. I grabbed, wait, hang on. I got some batteries for the bathroom scale because it isn't working anymore. I grabbed these two random onesies. These were the only ones that they had in his size because Jace is a stripper. I got these two onesies for him to wear when he's at home because he's learned like if he doesn't have pants on his diaper comes straight off straight off so i started like you know if he has pants on i'm like it should be fine and i bought those underwear to put over his diapers for when he didn't have pants on or didn't have like a sleeper or like a one piece you know so i got the underwear so that he wouldn't be taking his diaper off but now he's learned to take his pants off and then take his diaper off so the only way i'm gonna be able to keep his diaper on him is with like onesies and things so i need more onesies because i do not have very many in his size at all but these were the only ones i could find in his size ideally i would like to hit up once upon a child because they always have a giant selection and you can get a bunch of onesies for like a buck fifty a piece but for now i grabbed these and lastly i just grabbed this sweater thingy i had a couple of these in the past and i really like them to wear when it's colder out um but the ones that i did have i think i had two or three of these in different styles or patterns whatever and they're either small or two when London went on her cutting fiasco and cut like 30% of my my clothes in the closet. Those were casualties. So I just grabbed one of them because I need, I need more long sleeves, like comfy ones. All the long sleeves that I have are form fitting and I just don't usually like wearing form fitting clothes. So I wanted to get something like loose and comfy now that it's cooling down yeah. some. I seriously feel so yeah. sick right now. Yeah. I have so much to do and I don't know where to start. I know my outfit choice this morning is just fabulous. But I finally got downstairs. Mostly clean after it being an absolute disaster the past couple of days. It was bad. It was pretty bad. But I got it clean down here, mostly. Still gotta do the dishes and stuff. Um, we've, I've had a rough few days, and um, <sighs> and even though I have started to physically feel better. Kind of, not really. My motivation is just like negative 100 right now. So I have been terrible about getting things done. But I could not stand to look at it anymore. It was not making me feel any better. But like 
it was a mess and I was like, I don't have time to clean. I don't have the energy to clean. What's the point in cleaning things if I'm just gonna have to pack? So I kind of just tried my best to ignore it, but I could no longer ignore it. And um, still don't know what's gonna happen yet. Hopefully I will know more by this afternoon before I try and do a full on update because I don't really want to try and talk about it when I don't know what is going to happen so right now i'm just hoping for the best <laughs> hopefully i'll have an answer this afternoon as to how things are gonna go and hopefully it is the answer that i want otherwise things are gonna get real messy again and i don't know if i will survive it so let's hope that I don't have to worry about it because I don't think I can have another mental breakdown like I had at the end of last week because that was terrible literally the hardest couple days that I have probably ever had with the non-stop panic attacks and everything else like I've never had panic attacks that bad in my life and they were non-stop for days really messed me up don't want to go through that again right now i need to do my school work that i avoided doing yesterday my mom's birthday is tomorrow and i didn't know if i could finish her gift by then i was planning on going there after dance tomorrow and i realized like i was like wait her birthday might be tomorrow. I didn't know what day it was today, so I wasn't sure, but I just looked, and it is indeed her birthday tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish my project by then, especially without me procrastinating doing anything else. Like, for, for me to finish that, I would basically have to only do that for today and tomorrow. I mean, it might be possible. I just have to connect it and clean it up, but I don't know. Accidentally deleting the wrong stuff, but I'm trying to free up space on the camera. What are you mad about now? Every time I pull up the camera, all of a sudden you're mad. Okay, so I actually managed to finish this today. It's not the biggest, but I ran out of yarn and time. So it's just gonna have to be like a lap blanket. Mom! Mom. Not a full size blanket. Mom! What? So let's see if I can find a bag to put this in because it is my mom's birthday today and she told me she's cooking at my grandma's house. So we're supposed to go over there after dance. I know. This thing also won't lay flat. Like. The squares won't sit flat. So that kind of makes it like shrink even more. I guess this will just have to work. Yeah, 
turning 39. Oh, Mama, you made me a blanket. Wow. Blanket, blanket. It's a chicken. It's a young blanket. Yeah, Mama Crochet. Look, honey. Nice. It's a small blanket because I ran out of yarn and time. Pretty fucking big to me. I don't know, it's like a lap blanket. That's neat though. How you do with the time? I couldn't ever do that. Do that. Mom, you see the smoke? Thank you, Sandra. I don't need apple juice on it because I don't know. Okay, so now I have two days to get this entire house packed and ready to be emptied out on Saturday. And I don't even know where to start, but I gotta do something. So, but I guess we're gonna start with Christopher's clothes and while I'm in here doing this, I'll try to talk about what is going on. You know, I kind of don't really want to talk about it, but I'm gonna have to talk about it sooner or later. I did make a little bit of a video where I started talking about it, but I believe I might have accidentally deleted it. I'm not sure. I won't know until I edit. Christopher. And so they were going to evict us. And then I asked if they would let us just pay all the fees and finish out our lease, and they agreed. Um, and we were gonna do that yesterday, but then Christopher didn't end up working over the weekend. And so that doesn't go in there. So we didn't have enough to pay all the fees and everything. And, um, yeah, I asked last Wednesday if we could pay yesterday on Wednesday when he got paid again. And she said, you'll have to ask on Wednesday, but I can't make any promises. So it was like, I would either have to pack the house and then say, she said, yeah, you can pay. And we paid it. And then I'd have to unpack the house. Or option two was I didn't pack the house thinking that we would just pay it. And then the day comes and I ask to pay it and they say no. Well, then I have nothing packed and have even less time to be out. And well, they didn't say no, but we couldn't pay it. So in the end, yeah, they gave us the eviction notice last Wednesday and said we have 10 days to respond or get out. And Saturday makes day 10 and it's currently Thursday. And I don't really, I don't really know what's happening. I don't know what life is anymore. This is very stressful and I have a lot of stuff to be worried about. But literally all I can do right now is just pack my ass off. I'm here by myself with three kids and three dogs and have to figure out getting out. That's it's very stressful. I basically just spent this whole past week hoping for a miracle. And then just get let down every time. So. Oh yeah, there's no way all my books would fit in here. No way. 
I have to figure out how I'm even gonna have anyone to help me on Saturday when I have to get everything out because pretty sure I can't load a U-Haul by myself too and move all this furniture downstairs by myself. Gotta have help for that, but I don't know. I don't know who's gonna help me. This is like a keepsake shirt, but let me cut it. So I don't know, like I'm gonna have to crop it or something, but I doubt I'm gonna do that anytime soon. I have to be picky, like, I'm not gonna have space for all of these clothes. Like, I'm not gonna have this closet. Where am I gonna put all these clothes? Dude, now he's throwing up. Great. All right, get in the bath. Jake apparently put something in his mouth, but I don't freaking know what he put in his mouth. I was sitting in the playroom, sorting out toys, trying to pack. And he came walking in there, spitting, and like making a face like he tasted something nasty. And like now he's just drooling everywhere. And then he starts throwing up. And I literally, I have no idea what he could have gotten into. I don't, I can't find anything. The only thing that I found the only thing that I saw out was one of these insert things, but it wasn't even where he came from. Like, he came from my room, and this was over by the kid's bathroom. But, so I don't know, because this is really the only thing I could find, but I didn't see him have it. I didn't see him go over there. I just, like, he obviously put something in his mouth, and I don't know what it is, and I don't know what to do about it, because I don't know what it is. Like, how, how am I supposed to call poison control if I don't know what he could have gotten into?
is miraculously napping by himself. He fell asleep in the car. He fell asleep in the car on the way back from Walmart. And when I got home and I got him out of the car, I set him in the chair over there. And somehow he stayed asleep and has been asleep ever since. It's 4.30 right now. Um, that's one little good thing that's happening in the midst of all this other stuff. Because as if us getting kicked out and having to pack up and move in such short notice with like basically no help isn't hard enough. One, we have that scare with Jace yesterday with him, that whole episode with whatever he put in his mouth. He got over it fine. Um, but that was stressful and not something I wanted to happen in the middle of all of this. And now two, today I'm starting to feel like I'm developing a UTI. So I'm uncomfortable. My feet are killing me from being on my feet so long. And I know I'm going to be in so much pain after this weekend. But what can you do?